Okay, the next thing we're going to cover in this chapter is base ionization. Base ionization is very similar to acid ionization constant. We use a B here for the base symbol. B is a generic base, so any base is called B. And a base is something that accepts the hydrogen. So when I react it with water, it gains a hydrogen, so it becomes HB plus. So hydrogens are plus one charge. So if it goes, if it's neutral, it becomes positive. If it's negative, it becomes neutral. And then this hydrogen came from the water, leaving me the OH minus. And then the KB expression is the conjugate acid, HB plus, times the hydroxide over the base concentration. And we're going to do the same procedures that we did with Ka. So we're going to start out by writing out the Kb expression, or Kb reaction, or the base ionization reaction, the Kb expression. Then we're going to use pH and um, the initial concentration to find Kb. And last, we're going to uh, have Kb and the initial concentration and find the pH. So those are the three types of problems. So as I said, the first problem is simply to write the base ionization of aniline, and this is the formula for aniline, and what the expression is. So I have C6H5NH2 plus water. As I just stated, this accepts a hydrogen. Sometimes in the homework problem, it's very particular. This has a lone pair on it, so the hydrogen's actually added to either a nitrogen or an oxygen. Nitrogen is, is actually going to be prefer preferred. So I have C6H5NH3 plus, plus OH minus. So that's my base ionization reaction. And then KB is going to be the C6H5NH3. 3 plus times the hydroxide ion concentration divided by that of the initial base, which is C, whoops, C6H5NH2 concentration. So very similar to that of a Ka. And the next problem is we are given the initial concentration and given a pH and asked to find Kb. So we have a concentration of CH33N is 0 0.25 molar. Oops. We have a pH of 11.63. And we want to know what the Kb is. So typically in these problems, you're given pH and asked to find Kb, or you're, find, you're given Kb and asked to find the pH. So same procedure, we're going to write out the balanced reaction. So I have CH3N plus water goes to form the CH3 NH plus plus OH minus. We're going to do our ice table, I, C, and E. This is 0 0.25 molar. We don't use water because it's a liquid and 0 and 0, minus x, x, and x. And since you are not given Kb, you have to be able to find one of the equilibriums. And so in the Ka problems, we found hydronium, and this one we're going to find the hydroxide. And we're going to do so from pH. So we have to start out with the formula that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So I have 11.63 plus pOH is equal to 14. So pOH is 14 minus 11.63 to give me uh, 2.37. And then the pOH is the negative log of OH minus. So these are from last chapter. Uh, I'm not going to show you the derivation of this. The OH minus is 10 to the negative pOH. Like I said, it's probably easier if you just memorize that formula. So 10 to the negative 2.37 is 0 0.004266. So that is my hydroxide ion concentration is 0 
four, two, six, six. And since it's zero plus X is equal to this, that means X is equal to this. So this is 0 0.004266 molar. All of these are molar. And this is gonna be 0 0.25 minus 0 0.004266 to give me 0 0.2457 molar. Now I'll write my KB expression. KB is going to be my concentration of CH33 NH plus times OH minus over the CH33 N. This is going to be 0 0.004266 squared because it's this times that, it's this times this, divided by the 0 0.2457. And when I do that, I get 0 0.00741, or 7.41 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay, so these are the same procedures we used for Ka and the hydronium. It does have an extra step because of the fact that I have to first find POH, of course, if you go back to chapter 15, there's two ways you could do this. I could have taken this to hydronium and from hydronium to hydroxide. I stated in that chapter, it was to me, it's less typing. It's easier, faster to do POH first. So that's the one I chose to do it. If you feel more comfortable with the other method, feel free to do that also. And the last type problem for this one is it wants, it tells me, Let's see, it wants to know what is the hydroxide concentration, OH minus concentration, is equal to what? If I have an NH2OH concentration that's 0 0.18 molar, and I have a KB that's 6.5 times 10 to the minus fifth, it also wants to know what is pH. I skipped that, but it wants to know what the pH is. Okay, so. Same procedure, I take NH2OH plus water. Now on this one, I have both nitrogen has a lone pair and oxygen has a lone pair. I'm not sure if the homework software will accept both. I'm gonna add it to my nitrogen, but it could be that you add it to the hydrogen too. Um, so it could have been NH2OH2 plus, I think, however, it's this one, it's going to be the NH3 plus OH minus. This is 0 0.18 for my I, C's and E's. Again, I cross out the water, 0 and 0, minus X, X, and X. Now, when we did this with KAs, I told you it was uh, the acid concentration divided by Ka, this is going to be the base concentration divided by Kb to see if I need to use the quadratic. Just like with the acids, I can use always use the quadratic. It's not faster not to. And most bases, you do not need to use the quadratic. I won't say all, but most bases. So if I take 0.18 divided by 6.5 times 10 to the minus fifth, I get a number that is much greater than 100. I get, well, I get equals to 2769, which is greater than 100. So I do not need to use a quadratic. So that means that I can, what that translates to practically is that I can cross out this X minus. So my KB expression, is NH3 OH positive times OH minus over the NH2 OH. I have 6.5 times 10 to the minus fifth. X times X is X squared and 0 0.18 for the bottom. I multiply both sides by the 0 0.18, so I have 6.5 times 10 to the minus fifth times 0 0.18 is equal to x squared. That gives me 
times 10 to the minus fifth is equal to x squared. I take the square root of both sides. It gives you a positive and negative value, but as I said with the acids, it can't be a negative x value, so x ends up being the 0 0.003421. And remember, this time, x is actually equal to my hydroxide ion concentration. So I have the first question up here answered. I know what the hydroxide ion concentration. But it also asks for pH. So again, to me, the easiest way to go with this is to find the pOH, which is the negative log of hydroxide. So those formulas from the last chapter are very important. Negative log of 0.003421. gives me 2.47 and then pH plus plus pOH is equal to 14 so pH plus 2.47 is equal to 14 pH is equal to 14 minus the 2.47 and so pH is equal to 11.53 so my two answers for this problem were the 0 0.003421, it should have molar after it, I didn't write that, M, and pH is equal to 11.53. So those were the two answers, two questions asked for this video, or for this problem. And that is the end of this video.